DNA replication means duplication of DNA. DNA replicates in semi-conservative manner. It was first proposed by Watson and Crick, but experimentally it was proved by Meselson and Stahl in E. coli. De DNA replicates in semi-conservative. It means two strands of DNA, two strands of DNA get separated during <coughs> replication and each strand serves as template for the formation of new strand. So one is in uh, one strand of DNA is always old and other strand is always new. This method of DNA replication is semi-conservative method of DNA replication. Then DNA replication occurs during S phase of cell cycle. S phase means synthetic phase of mitotic cell cycle. There is no replication during interkinesis. In meiosis, uh, between uh, the first meiotic division and second meiotic division, there is a brief interface in which replication does not occur. Requirements of DNA replication. The most important requirement for DNA replication is DNA polymerase enzyme. DNA polymerase enzyme this is also called as Kornberg enzyme after the name of discoverer. In prokaryotic cell, there are three types of DNA polymerase enzyme. DNA polymerase 1, DNA polymerase 2 and DNA polymerase 3. What are differences between uh, three uh, types of DNA polymerase? There is a fact that DNA always replicates in 5-3 direction. This 5-3 activity, synthetic activity is found in all three classes of DNA polymerase enzyme. DNA polymerase 1, 2, as well as 3. All can synthesize DNA in 5-3 direction. It is essential that DNA always, always replicates in 5-3 direction. Next uh, is 3-5 exonuclease activity. What is exonuclease activity? Suppose this is parental strand its polarity is 5 to 3 a new strand is formed in 5 3 direction according to base pair rule suppose here adenine adenine always pairs with thymine here cytosine it always pairs with guanine guanine it is guanine it pairs with cytosine suppose due to some error instead of uh, guanine uh, instead of cytosine Thymine is added at this place. T is added at this place. So it is soon sensed by DNA polymerase enzyme. It moves backward, removes T, adds C, and then goes forward in 5-3 direction. DNA polymerase enzyme, whenever moves in 3-5 direction, it moves to remove the wrong bands, wrong base which have been incorporated due to some error. This is called as 3-5 exonuclease activity. This activity is also found in DNA polymerase 1, DNA polymerase 2 and DNA polymerase 3. One more activity is called 5-3 exonuclease activity. 5-3 exonuclease activity, uh, why this activity is required? Suppose this is the parental DNA, its polarity is 5, 2, 3. For DNA synthesis, a primer is always required and the primer is uh, RNA primer. This is this short segment is called RNA, RNA primer. RNA primer is needed for DNA because DNA polymerase uh, can elongate the new chain. It cannot start DNA synthesis. For DNA synthesis, starting point is RNA primer. So it is a RNA after when a new strand of DNA is formed, RNA has to be removed. This is removed by this activity, 5-3 exonuclease activity. This is called 5-3 exonuclease activity. This 5-3 exonuclease activity 
is found in DNA polymerase 1. This is not found in DNA polymerase 2 and DNA polymerase 3. So these are uh, some of the differences between DNA polymerase 1, 2 and 3. Other requirements are other enzymes uh, for DNA replication. One of the requirement is uh, helicase enzyme. What is function of helicase? Because we know DNA is double standard structure. Uh, two strands of DNA are held by hydrogen bond. For breaking a breaking hydrogen bond between uh, two strands, helicase enzyme is required. Because unless and un until two strands are not separated, single strand would not be formed, and single always and always single stranded DNA template is uh, used for DNA replication. Next requirement is single stranded binding protein. This is single stranded binding protein. It prevents recoiling of DNA. First helicase enzyme breaks the hydrogen bond between two. When two strands get separated, they are prevented to uh, for uh, being united by single stranded binding protein. The function of single stranded binding protein. Other requirement is topoisomerase, which is used to prevent uh, supercoiling which is forming unreplicated part of DNA. Supercoil uh, is uh, formed in unreplicated part. Topoisomerase, mode of functioning of topoisomerase is topoisomerase breaks the phosphodiester bond between uh, two nucleotide. When topoisomerase separate, a new phosphodiester bond between uh, two uh, adjacent nucleotide. This function of topoisomerase. DNA ligase. Ligase is a joining enzyme. It is uh, used to join the segments of DNA strands or segments of short nucleotides. RNA primer already explained why it is needed. It provides three uh, OH hydroxyl group at three prime end for the addition of first nucleotide. Now let's see uh, the replication in brief. This is double stranded DNA. Five prime. Its polarity is five three. Its polarity is 3 to 5. This is hydrogen bond between two, uh, say, uh, two strands of DNA. Helicase enzyme breaks them. The two strands get separated. This is parental strand. This is parental strand. Its polarity is 5 to 3. Its polarity is 3 to 5. So in this strand, a replication would occur in 5, 3 direction. In this strand also, replication occurs in 5, 3 direction. So primer, RNA primer is formed at free end of uh, the strand which have 5 to 3 polarity and uh, in fourth end uh, RNA primer is formed here. Now two primers are formed simultaneously. Now the new strand is formed by base pair rule. DNA polymerase enzyme moves in 5 3 direction. Here it also moves in 5 3 direction and uh, it adds a new base so that elongation of DNA nucleotide occurs. This part is unreplicated part of DNA. Now it has to replicate. It has already replicated. Now it has to replicate. Again the sequence of events repeated in the same manner. This strand which have polarity 5 to 3. DNA replication occurs in continuous manner because uh, DNA polymerase enzyme moves in 5-3 direction and catalyzes the synthesis of new strand of DNA. The strand of DNA where DNA replication occurs in continuous manner is called leading strand. Now, but at this strand, a new primer is formed every time the strand replicates. This is again new primer, new primer is formed. So, the other strand of DNA in which uh, new strand of DNA are formed in a fragment which is, which, uh, which is uh, often called as Okazaki fragment after the name of discoverer is called lagging strand. So two strands, one is leading. It is uh, at leading strand, uh, replication uh, occurs slightly faster than the lagging strand. The same sequence of event uh, occurs every time DNA replicates and in this way one DNA leads to the formation of 